we're back at it again. I've been wondering actually how many uh, videos am I going to do of Historic Rank because I don't feel like one's enough a week and I want to play this deck more than that because the only time I'm playing this deck is when I'm going to be doing these rank things. So maybe these will be a bit more uh, frequent, at least these rank ones. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's uh, continue. Um, yeah, I just booted this up and I was going to try to do the quest thing. And then someone immediately quit. So I won. And I was like, yeah, good start. So we're back at it again with the uh, Tiny Bones deck. Hopefully this time we'll uh, see Waste Knot. Last week I was 500. Two of the four. We'll see if this is any better. I'm uh, hoping to at least match uh, the previous video. We'll see. We're waiting for the other guy to load in. Who knows how long this will take. I can see he's got 65 cards to my 60. I'm winning because I have less cards. However, we're uh, stuck here in limbo. I'll just go through my dogs. I'll get the one with the sword. Anytime now, the 1,620th Fallen Angel. Where he was born then, he's that old. Um, that's the sum if you multiply, if you add all the letters together in his name. Underscores like 1,500 points if you play Scrabble. Syntax Scrabble, it's a new version of Scrabble. Oh my god, buddy. I know sometimes it takes a long time to load in, but this seems a bit excessive. So we're gonna... There we go. All right, well, we've got first couple of rounds of play at least to go. Liliana Stewart will be the first one to go out. Then I'll probably end up doing Tiny Bones. And then Mind Rot. And then probably Death Baron after that, really depending on what he plays and if I get Waste Knot at any time. So here we are. We're against a Black Deck 2. Steward immediately out. Time is not wasted. Let's see what he comes back with. Usually you don't want to do any removal on the steward because it's a piddly little card. But we'll see if he's going straight control with a... Uh... Oh, he's black-white. Alright, so this is probably vampires. Death touch. Even better. Um, so I'm going to do this... Now, get him to dump the card. Get rid of your card, buddy. Next turn, I might do the Enforcer. Although I should have probably done the Enforcer first. We'll see. Alright, he got rid of a uh, Revival Revenge. Revenge is a mean card if you're not paying attention. Burglar Rat's going to be nice on this turn. We'll see. He's going to attack with the Enforcer. Or at least he should. Okay, he does. I'm not going to block. Here's hoping I get Waste Knot. I do not. Alright. So, what do I want to play? I think... I'm going to Mind Rot. Actually, no. I'm going to Burglar Rat to start with. And then I'll trade the Burglar Rat on this next turn if he attacks with the this one. All right, another Ministrant. All right, we're going to get the Enforcer out then. Get rid of some cards. And uh, no attacks. Drew a card. Waste Knot does not exist, apparently. So I can two for one the Enforcer. We'll see. Does he have... Okay, he does not. What's going to be more of a pain in the ass to get rid of? I think the death touch. So I'm gonna two. I'm gonna two for one. The enforcer. Let's see if he buffs it in any way. We're almost getting to the point now where mine rot's not gonna help. He's thinking about buffing it. 
He would get rid of two one of the two cards. Okay, he did not, so he's just gonna let it eat up. This I'm fine with. So I'm down by five. Does he play a card? He does not. Well, I'm still not getting the card I need. We're gonna mind rot. See if he plays any spells. There are two lands and that one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just attack with both. Death Baron's definitely next turn. Because we're going to buff it up one to one. Ooh, got Murderous Rider. That's helpful. So now he's just top decking. He's probably got a land card. We'll see. I'll see what I pull next, because really would like a waste knot. There it is. Finally. Um, we're going to Burglar Rat to start. See if he counters that. Probably won't. That means he'll swing with the Ministrant and the other one. Uh, we're kind of getting past the point of when waste knot would be useful. Because he's got to have a spell of some sort here. Probably waiting on a land. There we go. Just seems to be an afterlife deck. Which we're not going to block. Okay, we're starting to get down there in, in uh, health, which is a bit of a problem. We're going to Mind Rot. This isn't good value. But we're going to do it anyway, because I want to see what I get off it. So it was a spell, so it's just card draw. All right, we'll play the steward, and we'll swing with the burglar rat. You'll probably get afterlife one. Try a card. Okay, we're getting a bunch of mind rot, but not getting the trades I like. So I hold off on the death baron with trading with the steward. Ah, uh, I think so. He's got. Something for a spell. If I buff this up, I'm going to hold off on attacking this turn. Alright, I'm down to six, which is a bit of a problem. Death Baron goes now. I do not have mo enough for a Mind Rot, but we're going to wait. So, we're going to swing with nothing. Feel a little off not playing anything else this turn, but it's, it's like an awkward spot for the mana. If he doesn't play anything this turn, he, he's got to get rid of the Death Baron then if he's not going to do anything. I don't really have any way of getting rid of, rid of the Flyers in any way, unless a Murderous Rider, which would be a bad idea. But he's probably going to try to get rid of... Yep. Tiny Bones is gone. I probably should have got rid of it, but I didn't. All right. Fair enough. Uh, your one card. I want it gone. So how do I do this? Devotee comes out. And now it's a 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to make you get rid of it now. The fuck are you? I have no idea. Immediately makes... The zombie. Um, I think I have to murderous rider to get rid of that flyer. This is a bit awkward, but I got to do it this way to get some life life uh, life gain. No attacks, and we're gonna wait because he's just gonna make flyers again. And unless I swing on this turn, I don't have any way of getting rid of those things. So he's basically one at this point. It's one of the drawbacks of this deck, is if I don't get Waste Knot soon enough. And Flyers are another issue. These Afterlife little weenies are a big problem. I, th I don't know if I actually have anything flying, so the only thing I could potentially get... I don't think I have anything that would give me Lifesteal. So go ahead and swing with your stuff. He does not. 
Well, I want you to get rid of your card. It's another flyer. Another zombie. We're going to get the lifelink out to hopefully start regaining some life. If I get to that one Lily on a Planeswalker I have, which I don't seem to be getting, which is a bit of a problem. So you Afterlife 1, you Afterlife 2, which is real bad. I do have another Tiny Bones, so I think I'm just going to wait this out. I mean, he does anything. I'm going to lose two life. Creatures your opponent's control can't. Well, that's fine. I don't have any 1-1 one -one stuff. We're just getting uh, too much land. We're waiting. Until he presses this. Alright, this is a problem. So, I think this is just going to end up wiping the board, and then I can kill it. That was loud. That saved me. It's got to do with the afterlife stuff. I'm going to resolve all. When does it actually trigger, though? Oh, it's at the end. That's a problem. Um Yeah, and I got nothing. That's that's uh that is game. That loud fucking noise. Bad start. I don't have anything to get rid of flyers, which is a problem. I probably slow played that too much, but again, if I don't get waste not when I need it. If I don't get any of the cards I need when I need them, it's a problem. Hmm. Well, let's see. We're against... I'm not pronouncing that name. This is a bad hand. We're going to mulligan this. This is a better hand. Liliana. Uh... What's the odds? I think I want to hold on to Liliana. And then get rid of a land. And hope I pull up a land. I think we're going to do that. This is very risky, but... What are you going to do? We're going to go with Fire Guy this time. Put the Thieves Guild Enforcer out. Now, get you to mill. Oh, you're a Sapperling. Your little minion deck. Again, I think that might counter us with their little tokens. We'll see. I don't like these decks. No attacks, because he's... Um, we'll see what the next turn is. Is he going to do the Thalid? Is he going to get rid of it by giving it like that Spore Infection thing? Yep. Figured as much. Then attack with a two? He does not. Alright, well, uh... What's the better play here? We're gonna put this and then Mind Rot. See what you get me. Do you get me some zombies? Do you get me some mana? Do you get me to draw some cards? You get two zombies. Good. Alright. So, next turn, I'm going to get rid of those things. Ah, there you go. Um, get rid of your other two cards. Give me some more zombies. Alright. Um, no attacks. Next turn is going to be Death Baron. Depending on if he plays this card. So if he doesn't play this card, Burglar Rat's coming out. Interesting. Alright. Tapped out probably a little too early, but I'll take it. I've ranked up. I now have that fancy little helmet. Hooray. 
All right, next game. So that's kind of the ideal start. If I can get waste not going, then I can go token against token. Um, let's see what we got now. I'm gonna guess blue black. I'm gonna get thought erasured first two turns. It's an okay start. We got some card draw generation from this combo here. Why is his head sideways? Is he just running real fast? Or is his head just kind of floating like that? I don't know. Let us play cards against a blue Q or a blue ick. Come on, blue black. Let's see if I'm right. It's either that or it's dinosaurs, I'm going to call it. <clears throat> oh, my drink's gone. Well, it's almost that. I wonder if this will be some sort of control deck. But there was a big ban of a bunch of cards recently. I don't know if that accounts for historic. Oh, we're, sh we're, we're mer mermen. Alright, so this is going to be bad. We're going to tiny bones now. That speaker's going to get out of hand incredibly fast. Unless I pull my uh, murderous rider. Get rid of a card, buddy. Oh, that one. Eldest Reborn's not bad. I just have to live three more turns to play it. Be real great if I pull a Mind Rot. Oh, you got a second River Sneak. I don't like River Sneaks. Go ahead. No blocks. I'm not going to chunk just yet. A second Tiny Bones is bad. Well, uh, not attack. The only problem is he's never going to attack with a Jade Bearer, so that'll be the first thing to get sacrificed unless I find a way to get rid of it before then. But I probably won't. I need more things in the graveyard in order... Yep, okay. This is a problem. This is an immense problem that I don't know the answers to fixing. I don't have enough in the graveyard to make you useful, so we're just gonna cage zombie. And, uh, not attack. We're probably gonna lose this. I don't think I've got a way to control either of these things. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see. Uh, Burglar Rat. I'm going to take a point of damage from this. I've died from Tiny Bones before. That's fine. Get rid of your counter. You got something you don't want to get rid of. That's two. I think I'm going to do this just to get Tiny Bones into the graveyard. So I've got a way to get rid of the river sneak next turn. Yep. This is probably a counter he's holding on to in his hand right now. But I gotta do it. This battle is going to end on my there we go. I've I've balanced out. If I get uh one mana at all. Next turn, Eldest Reborn will go out. That sucks. But what we're going to do, I'm going to make you discard a card. That was a counter. I can't really afford to get rid of any other thing right now. There's the land I need. I can probably start getting you to lose 10 life now. So you're going to have to play that. Otherwise, it's going away. 
So he does not play it. Get rid of your card. Thieves Guild Enforcer's going away. It was just a land. That's fine. Eldest Reborn comes out. You're going to sacrifice your Jade Bearer. And no one's attacking right now. All right. I can't really play the discard thing anymore. Kumena Speaker's going away this turn. Unless I pull another land, which I don't. Ah, perfect. So now, if I just had one more, one more uh, mana, that would be great. Well, I'm going to make you discard a card. Take three life. Uh, we're going to get rid of the steward. Put out the devotee. And, uh, no, no attacks just yet. All right, no more discarding. This is just going to be for removal now with the Liliana because I'm very low on life. I'm going to get a creature he had in his graveyard. I'm going to get it back this turn. But Tiny Bones is going to do some damage. Come on, buddy. What are you going to do? Unless I Dread Horde this turn, and then I discard two cards. I get rid of his two Command of Speakers. That's fine. Let's see, what do I want to get rid of? These are all kind of bad, but uh, I'll just take the thing that can't be blocked. Just so I can play this. Get rid of your two little guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm going to draw some cards. I'm worried about things with haste. So. We're just going to attack with those two things right now. That's fine. Lane comes out. Five by ten life. Create a zombie. Uh, nope, not gonna risk it. Next to combat, let's see. Eh. We'll have you attack, and we'll see if you defend it, because if it dies, no, I'm still one mana off. But if he doesn't attack this turn, I'm going to make him lose three life. I probably should have attacked with one more thing. Ah, uh, we'll do it this way. Get rid of both. Draw a card. And uh, make you lose three life. Sure, we'll get rid of a swamp. Thank you. I probably didn't need to do that extra one again, but I wanted to press buttons. All right, two wins, one loss, one more. Let's do one more. Got to level up. Cool. I got 600 bucks, and I'm about to get a doggy next turn. Or next level, I should say. All right. That was blue-green with a bunch of mermaids that really didn't get off the ground. Don't know why I didn't attack with... Whatever's. Or he decided to counter that one rat. That was a bit silly, but... Took a risk. It didn't pay off. Um, this is fine. It ain't great. Uh, fire dog worked for us last time, so we're gonna... We're gonna stick with that. He has a three-headed dog. Mine's on fire. I don't know who's going to win. I have a feeling this guy... No, he's got a same size deck as I do. What happens if I click you? Nothing. All right. We're going to wait 
So I want to see if he's going to uh, scry. He does not. He, he is a lifelink guy. All right. Ooh, got rid of a good card there. Got rid of a very good card there. We're not going to attack. I really need to get my... Uh, either a waste knot or something else to start milling some cards. Uh, let's see here. We're going to do this. And we're going to make you get rid of some cards. I hate this guy's voice. He's very snooty. I would have liked to have had him to have less cards in his hand than he does now. But he doesn't. No attacks. He's got plenty of stuff. I do have enough to get to Eldest Reborn in two turns. So if he doesn't play anything else, I can I'd potentially get rid of that Pride Mate. But now this is a problem. Uh, what's the bigger problem? Well, first things first. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield or dies, you gain one life. Hmm. So Daxos has to go. I think he's going to get a buff from that because he's gone. Nope, he didn't. All right. Next turn. Eldest Reborn comes out. What's he going to play? Oh, he's going to banish that. That's great. If he banishes the Thieves Guild Enforcer, that's hilarious. A little unfortunate, but still funny. Thank you. Okay, I'm done. You going to attack with just the Pride Mate? No blocks. All right, so this is going to be pretty sweet if I can get Daxos to get in my hand here. He should just get rid of Sarah's Ascendant. Come on. There you go. No attacks. This guy's still a problem. Yes, this is very much a problem. Mine rot's not worth it just yet. Although I can guarantee if he plays a land, I'm going to play Mine Rot. Come on. Which one is it? Hmm. Well, I think it's fine to play Murderous Rider then. And no attacks. I can probably just straight trade out both of these. If he puts one more card in discard, then that's Death Touch. So, if he doesn't play anything this turn, I can just go ahead and Mind Rot then. But he's got a pretty nice card in there that I think I'm going to want. So what's he going to do? Plays a land. Is he going to buff? Lifelink. Well, that's fine. So he's going to super buff. He's got some sort of buff in his hand. I guess not. What is the better card? Gain life. Well, he'll just immediately die because I don't have any devotion to white.
I don't have any white for that. Uh, I guess I'll do Iliad. Because, I don't know. Although I did just take one out of his discard pile, so he's going to have one more less to get to the death touch. But that's fine. You're a zombie. You're going to get buffed. What are you doing, buddy? Thank you. All right, Swamp goes out. The Liana's devotee goes out. He's got a buff. So he has no mana left. I do not want to attack then. I'm just going to draw a card. I cannot. Do I play both of these? Why not? It's strong zombie. Um. Yeah, we'll pressure him. I got two things to block the pride mate if he attacks. And if he doesn't block, he'll even get... Well, Thieves Guild will get... I think I'll give them the lifelink. Alright. Um. Yeah, we'll do Thieves Guild. So you got six. You got to get rid of two cards. Ah, uh, okay. I should have gotten rid of him. So now he's going to heal. This is a problem now. Is he going to attack with it, though? Is he going to get rid of the Thieves Guild Enforcer? Does not attack. Well, I got a Mind Ratcha. We're going to not draw, because I'm an idiot. Ah, <sighs> this is bad. This is very bad. I need to get rid of one of your creatures. Or pull Tiny Bones. How many do I have? I got two in the graveyard. That's bad. Alright, so you're up to six. He's not going to attack just yet. This is bad. We're going to go ahead and draw a card. Come on. Okay, you got Murderous Rider for next turn. That's perfect. Which do I get rid of? No attacks. If I kill the Pride Mate... Alright. Hmm. That's fine. Does he attack with anything? It is not. Alright, so first things first. Let's get rid of you. Okay, Shadow Mage is coming out next. Unless I want to play it. Cool. I don't think I do. Shadow Mage is coming out. Indestructible. I can't kill you with Death Touch. Um... Do I attack with anything now? 
No. Hmm. I didn't have enough for that. That's a bit unfortunate, but he is getting dinged down for two. He didn't play anything. He's going to play one of his, yep. And then heal it. So I'm really looking for the Liliana to get rid of two of his creatures. I did not pull it. However, this is just as fine. So now I'm going to swing with all three of my zombies. Well, all two of my zombies and a Thieves Guild Enforcer. And he's going to have to probably defend it. That's fine. Go ahead and buff everything you want to. Alright, so now... You. You attack that one. You attack that one. And you attack that one. Who are you going to block with? Johnny's dead if you don't if you don't block with any of them. Whatever. Does not matter. You won't have any creatures left to defend this. So, come on. Let's see. We'll uh, buff you. That's fine, that's fine. Nothing to put him on. And I'll get a zombie off of this. Uh, end turn. Play a zombie. Yep, I wish I had more land, but I don't. And now we have the board. Take two damage. Struggling. Good. So now I've got the death touch out. Glad that's happened. You're going to banish which one? Probably Death Baron. Interesting, you have enough for that now. But you have to block... Two things, which you cannot do. Friendship soothes the soul. Although now you have an invincible blocker this entire time, which sucks. I don't know why you keep mousing over stuff. I don't care. You can go ahead and block that. You don't have lifelink or anything, so go ahead. play this. We are going to draw some cards, because I definitely need Liliana. I did not get, but that's fine. Next to combat, get rid of you. And, uh, let's start hitting you in the face. I think that gets rid of Heliod off the, uh, he gets off the uh, playing ground now. Yep, okay. Uh, I don't think a creature... Is a planeswalker a creature? I don't think so. It is not. All right. Learn something new. Are you going to start making weenies? Are you going to start lifelinking that? I guess not. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of your uh, castle. No more weenies for you. Put another regular land down. We won't be having that. Anytime, buddy. All you got to do is click it. 
Thank you. Give me my swamp. All right. Let's see. Let's see if he blocks anything. You are a creature. I can get two zombies off this. If you block with anything. Come on now. All attack. Next to blockers. Go ahead and give yourself lifelink. That's fine. Next to damage. I'm going to get two zombies off this, so I need to leave myself four mana, so I have nothing I can play right now. I'm going to end turn. Auto pay. Auto pay. There we go. This is, we've got control of the board. And now you just don't do anything. Thank you. All right. That went pretty well. We're slowly creeping up there. Uh, that was four matches, and I think it went three out of four. Feeling pretty good. That's going to do it for this video. I'm probably going to do some more of these least through the week because I don't think I've got myself enough of a fill to keep doing the ranked with this stack. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you, folks. We'll see you later.